from Liechtenstein and it's a rainy morning here. The weather is not great, but I will try to make the best out of this day. I was driving through the main highway in this little country and I noticed the mountain with a very cool castle up there. So I just want to find the road how to get there and see if I can get and see the castle. So let's go. I don't have uh, online maps here because I don't have connection, so I have to rely on offline maps. And I really think I know where I'm going, but I'm not sure yet. So I found the castle and the parking was a little bit above it, like 200 meters up the road. So I'm walking down to the castle. Also, I saw there is like a nice view on the town because it's like kind of on the mountain. And I hope that it's not that cloudy and I can show you some panoramas. I was just looking to find an entrance if it's possible to get inside but everything I see around it's just like signs private 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 no entry I guess maybe this castle is private and somebody lives there and of course no drone zone so I cannot unfortunately fly here and show you how beautiful this castle is uh, I just talked to someone and the guy told me that actually this castle is the private castle of the Prince of Liechtenstein and that like he lives here it's kind of like one of his properties so good to know I mean now I understand why it's so strictly private so that was a very quick visit of this castle and I have one more on my list to see and I hope maybe it's gonna be more successful than this. As I understand I cannot drive up to the castle so I found some parking down there and honestly it's all written in German so I have no idea can I park there I cannot but no I think nothing gonna happen for like 10-15 minutes Anyway, it's Sunday, nobody works here on Sundays. It's a nice, beautiful road here, and the castle is up there. But for some reason, I believe it's also gonna be something private, which you cannot walk and see what it is. Good news, seems like we can get inside there. Okay, as always, everything is just in German. I really like this little courtyard, pretty cozy, there are like rose garden here. I also really like the roof material, so you can see there on the wall there are like wood chains and here the roof also kind of mimics the wood chains, but actually this is clay. I think I can get up there on that balcony to have a little bit better view on this garden. I think I can get inside there as well. This is just a little chapel here. I really like the lights. They look like from restoration hardware and those elements on the roof are also interesting.
And that's a complete tour of the Burg Gutenberg castle in Liechtenstein. I think I'm done with Liechtenstein and it's time to go back to Switzerland. As I'm going to a very cool location here, I stopped by in a little town called Schurwalden and I'm just amazed by this square and architecture around it. Let me show you it a little bit. So this is behind me is a bus stop and I'm not sure what the building inside is. Maybe some supermarket from the other side. Uh, also, I like this concrete little building and the black wood building behind it. Wow, architecture is amazing. Nah, that building is not a supermarket or anything. It just said Migros there. I thought it's some kind of supermarket, but it seems like all around here is just a bus stop. But you see like it's all wooden, but this kept us in natural boards and behind is just painted black looks very nice no there actually should be a supermarket here because you see there are the carts but i haven't seen an entrance anywhere oh okay so that's the entrance here but it's sunday and as i learned in europe most of the supermarkets in the most of the countries are closed so yeah this school building is a bus stop from both sides and inside it's a supermarket As I was passing by the next town, I noticed some flea market going on here. And it looks like it's legit. There are a lot of cool stuff here. So I'm probably gonna buy something. Look at all those bells for cows or the bigger ones. Amazing. What else do they have here? So that's football field and I see mostly like closings and there is like this stand with some cheese and jam didn't find anything for my taste but I think if even I would find the problem would be that I don't have any cash I need to find an ATM and to get some cash because I understand they operate a lot in cash here in many places don't have cards and i'm used it in usa and places like this people would have their phone connected and i would be able to pay with card but it seems like not here I'm hiking to the Landwasser via Duke viewing platform. It's supposed to be a pretty short hike, but it is like a proper hike. There is like the little viaduct here, but it's not the one. Here we are on the north viewing platform of the viaduct and I hope the train gonna come soon. There is actually a schedule but I don't have connection to see it so let's wait.
Wow, that was absolutely something. I was not that lucky because I wanted to have the uh, train coming from the other direction, like out from the tunnel, not into the tunnel. But unfortunately, I don't have time. I'm running a little bit late. I have a hotel really, really far away and I need to drive a lot. But I got really lucky with the weather, I have to say, because there was probably like 15 minute gap between the rain and I was able to lift the drone and show you that cinematic footage. Awesome. Oh my God, the third day of rain, it's really too much. Is there a sunny weather in Switzerland? <laughs> Only saw it on images. Hope we'll see that tomorrow, maybe. As I was driving, I think I found a really beautiful place here. This bridge over the really blue water. Let's check it out. I'm not getting anywhere here. I stop like every 10, 15 minutes because every next place is more beautiful than the previous one. Why will this end? I'm like, I'm out of my plans right now completely. I'm probably gonna skip the town I wanted to go because I'm not gonna be in my hotel before 10 p.m. So 